Hey everybody, it's Matthew. And today I'm gonna see if, if I'm too old to learn to do a wheelie. Today, I'm gonna to see if I can get the Honda to get the front wheel up. And you know, part of the time I think I'm just too old to learn this. Can't teach an old dog new tricks sort of thing. And maybe I missed the boat. Maybe I should just give up and, you know, get a street bike or something. But I, uh, I don't know. I've seen other people my age be able to do this. So um, I'm gonna give it a shot. And to help me out today, I'm wearing a backpack with a big old pillow in it. And of course my helmet, and I've got some pretty thick padded gloves in case I take a spill. But uh, let's see what I can come up with. So, you know, I can occasionally pop up the front wheel a little bit, but I can't really get it over a, a small angle. And, you know, if you watch YouTube videos, there's some videos that focus, it's all the clutch, it's all the clutch. And then some videos that say you don't even need the clutch and it's pretty confusing but the skills classes that i or not classes but the skills weekend that i went to where there were some people that actually know how to wheelie and could do it consistently were giving me some good pointers so i'm going to break that down and see if i can do anything over the weekend i practice a lot and uh i could get the wheel up kind of but for the purposes of this video i'm going to call a wheelie being able to consistently let's say three times in a row uh, or three times out of five, get the front wheel up and bring it down by using the rear brake. And if I can go maybe 10, 15 feet, I'm gonna call that a wheelie. Um, so far, I have not been very successful, and, uh, but I'm gonna just keep trying until I get something. This is just uh, pathetic. Um, if I didn't stop and talk a little bit about the video, it would be um, about six seconds long because that's the only time I've been up in the air with my front wheel. It's just pathetic. You think I'm joking, but I'm really trying. <laughs> I, uh, I think what I need to do is forget about the 15 feet because I make because I get lucky every once in a while and and actually this is 10 feet so I get lucky once in a while and uh, almost go f that far and uh, in I, instead of making the goal just going Arr! I think I'm gonna make the goal get to where the balance point is and use the brake because I think the biggest obstacle is uh, fear and I'm afraid I'm gonna flip over and break the rear fender off I was on my wife's husky plenty of power but I'm just scared of breaking my wife's bike so um, I'm going back to the Honda even though it's not starting right now a lot it's annoying I have to run it down the street to pop start it and um, but I did it I tested on my mountain bike and I was fine I could get the find the balance point and just kind of use the brake to keep going and I'm, I'm used to being on two wheels. I know, what, I know what I'm doing somewhat. So instead of saying how pathetic I am, I'm gonna 
try the positive talk and just find the balance point, just keep going till I find it and, and utilize the break. And that should eliminate the, the fear I have of you know crashing. And I mean, even if I crash, it's like the bushes will catch the bike and the, I'm on the grass and I got a pillow in my backpack, so I'm not gonna die or anything. So I don't know what I'm afraid of, but. In addition to um, when you edit this stuff, 99% of the footage is me off camera turning around down the street or whatever, or t turning around in the yard. And then you get like this little 1.8 second thing of me trying to do the wheelie. And most of those aren't working. So this is, um, this is remarkably uh, boring to edit. And um, yeah, you could sell it as a sleep remedy. It's just... It's like 400 times of me going, ying, 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 ying. I think the neighbors, um, well, I know one of them complained because she was out in the driveway telling me to quit it. And that's why I stopped filming. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if she thought I was like my autistic nephew or something. Because um, I have a helmet on, so they don't know who I am. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I probably did a little figure eight 200 times in the yard, so they probably thought I was special needs or something. Anyways, it's hard. So yeah, I have to say, um, after doing this for a bit, um, I just, my self-talk was just like, you're pathetic, you're horrible, you suck. And um, my wife pointed out, she's like, well, you are, you know, you're doing what you set out to do. You're riding with your wheel up in the air for 10, 15 feet, and you're doing it pretty regularly. So I don't know. I mean, part of 52 is uh, kind of balancing the uh, I'm a pathetic loser with, um, hey, I'm doing okay for my age. And, um, you know, I, I, and I also don't think I need to learn this overnight. So um, I did pretty good for just setting it as a goal for, you know, one morning. But, uh, I mean, there's definitely room for improvement, and the, the people I know that do this on a regular basis, that are good at wheelies, they say you have to practice every time you go out. So it's like, okay. So, yeah, I'm not um, Instagram awesome, and I'm not uh, whatever. But the main reason I'm learning to do a wheelie isn't to, like, go down the boulevard in front of the coffee shop. I would never do that, but this is, um, you know, so I can get over a log. So I'm, I am accomplishing that goal. Um, but yeah, it's really kind of embarrassing to look at something you're not really good at. So, anyways, I'm trying. It also occurred to me that the uh, the kid who is teaching me this has never... Um, he's so young that he's probably never done this. <laughs> And furthermore, I posted a picture of my feet as they currently are because I'm sure this video will attract some trolls telling me how sucky my wheelies are. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure some people will tell me how crappy I'm doing it or how I'm doing it wrong or how I'm not putting my weight in the right place or whatever. And go ahead and have fun with that. Just keep in mind, I'm the guy that's wearing... You know, I looked at the video of my sock sandal feet, 
And my socks, do not they're not even the same color or height. So we're talking Lebowski level, don't give a f okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the grocery store in a little bit, and I'm not going to change. I'm going to wear the wrong socks with my sandals while I shop for my eggs for my camping trip that I'm going on. So um, you can tell me whatever, um, you know, how I suck as much as you want. I'll probably survive. Anyways, back to the happy stuff. Um, so my swag giveaway, you can get a Giddy Up t-shirt. It's got a dirt bike and Giddy Up on it. Or you have to tell me my age, though. Um, or you could choose this new shirt I made. It's got a guy on a motorcycle. He's kind of looking down. And the words say, where the F is neutral? Because that's something that comes up with me all the time. Uh, also, um, if you don't want a t-shirt, you could choose uh, my book. It's a uh, book that I wrote about doing the Trans-America Trail and navigating all the scary spots in my head. So um, the book's doing pretty good, but uh, I could get some more of, the, uh, more of them out into the world. Anyways, thanks for watching my video. I'll see you next time.